Hey guys, Jake from New Age Soldier here. Let's say you wanted to stream a PlayStation 3, 2, or 1 game, or an Xbox 360 game, uh, to uh, another computer, maybe like a GPD Win or something. Well, you'd be at the mercy of whatever Microsoft and Sony have actually uh, converted over to the newer platforms, like the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. So I'm going to show you a method how you can actually stream directly from the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. For the PlayStation 3, you'll need an HDCP stripping tool. For the Xbox 360, you'll need a, an authentic wired controller, and you'll need a GIMX cable and a zero latency HDMI input device. Here we have the GIMX dummy device. This cable should cost you around $25 in materials, and you can follow the grid on the screen to create your own. So now we're going to flash the firmware to our Teensy device. So press the button on the Teensy board to begin programming, and we're going to load in our firmware for our PlayStation 3 first. So select the hex file, press program, then reboot, and we're done. Here I'm using the Elgato Cam as my zero latency HDMI input device, and I'm using a a HDMI splitter to remove the HDCP encoding. Now let's install the GIMX launcher software. It's just a standard installation, so just press next for everything. And reboot your computer after the installation is completed. Let's test to make sure that everything is working. Let's go ahead and select our uh, device and let's start up the GIMX launcher. And I'm going to demonstrate through the Elgato game capture that I plug in my Xbox controller to my computer and I'll launch MotorStorm here. I'm going to do just a quick gameplay video here just to show you how seamless this works and how well it works actually with an Xbox controller playing on a PlayStation 3. In the next scene we're going to go ahead and set up our network device. So we're going to create our host here and we're going to get our uh, internal IP address here, 192.168.2.38. We're going to put that into our uh, network connection here as our host, and our GPD Win will be our client connecting to the host. So on our GPD Win here, we're going to say the input will be our uh, controller, our GPD Win controller, and our output will put out to the host server, 192.168.2.38. And here we are, remote playing through, game, uh, through Steam Remote Play out to launch the Elgato Game Capture software and um, our controller is then outputting through the network through the GIMX launcher. Because I am using a wired network and we are using a zero latency HDMI input device. You can see just how low latency the controller actually is. It feels like you're almost playing actually on the PlayStation 3. So now we're gonna set up our Xbox 360. So we have to flash a different firmware to our Teensy board. So plug it back into your computer. Exact same thing, press the button on the Teensy board. We're gonna load up our Xbox 360 firmware this time. So we're going to open up the folder for it and select the hex file program and reboot. And make sure your Xbox 360 controller is plugged into your host computer. And now on our GPD Win, we're going to launch Steam and start streaming the Elgato game capture software. Press F11 to go to full screen mode and then press F10 to remove all the toolbars on the side if you want to or eventually they will disappear on their own. So this is the end of the video guys, I'll show you a little bit of gameplay before the end, but if you have any comments or questions or concerns, you're welcome to post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.